This is two tactics in three days. I hope you're ready with me. This is the first day. Let's go. This is day one. Guys, you have to wait for the day three tactics. That is the last tactics at the end of this video. I hope you guys wait till the end. It's going to be mad for you guys because you're going to be getting two tactics in one video. That's mad. That's why he's the enemy. That's why he's the goat. The goat. <laughs> So I promised that um, I was going to tell you guys kind of players you need and now right now I want to just highlight a little bit like do a little summary about the kind of players you need. Obviously you need your defenders to be very good. Don't don't listen, listen, and listen, you listen. don't get any ball playing defender. Get a center defender. Get a if you can if you could see the non nonsense center back, get them. Okay. Because those kind of players can help you so well when it comes to the defense, you understand? So then your midfielders they should just be defensively good. Obviously, and defensively good, but they are very good in attack. You get what I'm saying? Like they can be, the attacking can be like 16 to 17, and you can get passing of 16 to 17. You get me? There's so many players that are like that. I don't need to be going into deep conversations about the midfield but defensively good but attacking attackingly good too. I don't know whether there's a word like that. <laughs> so and maybe your strikers they just need to score goals. They, they don't really need too much but just get strikers that can score. Yeah yeah shooting is wonderful. <laughs> you get yes, so the first day tactics and I hope you're gonna stay to the end of the video to see the talk this tactics because <laughs> That's going to be wonderful. And remember, the second day I'm going to be telling you the players you need for the third day tactics. So the tactics I'm going to drop on the, on the second day, I'm going to be telling you the kind of players you need for that tactics. Hope you guys understand, and hope you guys stick to the end of the video. Thank you, guys. Second day, guys, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what you need for the tactics. We're going to be I'm going to be giving you on the third day. The second day tactic is very simple, but before then, I want to shout out to this guy who told me who I should use for my next save, and Denise is what I picked. And Denise, I've been doing well, so uh, they won some couple of titles, and I can show you guys, and went on beating last season, and going on beating this season. It's not, it's not a flex, I'm not trying to flex, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> So now I'm, I'm going to be going like I'm going to be giving you guys lay down what you need from from goalkeeper to the defense to the midfield and to the attack. So the first one I'm going to be starting with is the goalkeeper. What your goalkeeper needs is reflexes, aerial, and communication. I feel that's the most important thing because obviously your your focus your main focus should be making your goalkeeper the captain. Captain! Having a goalkeeper as a captain is a good thing for the team. It really helps the team play well and make sure the defense is very solid. So that's what you need as a goalkeeper. So we we'll move down to the defense. What you need in your defense is a left back, obviously a right back, obviously and two center backs. Now when it comes to your left back, I think you should focus more on having your having your left back be a very good tackler, like tackle of the ball, someone that can mark and tackle, like get the ball out of your opponent's leg. And obviously he needs to position it. So the focus should be positioning and tackling, you understand? As your left back or your left back needs. Then what your right back needs is the same thing, opposite the same thing. Tackling and positioning should be good. 16 or 17 to 20 should be good because obviously when you buy a player, the they, it, it, their attribute reduces one point. Their attributes reduces one point. So another thing, certain backs to the same thing, I, but in a certain bank you can sign any player you can get a center defender like a center defender like a player that doesn't really have a passing he doesn't do not like one center defender the other defender your next defender should be someone who is good in creativity 
Yes, you'll be like, why Why do you need a blend that's going to be creative, creative when it's a defender? Obviously, you need a creative um, defender because he can be able to move balls from the defense to the midfield and the midfielders they take the ball to the attack. So that's why you need a defensive, a creative midfield. <laughs> defensive, creative defender. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> I don't know that. That works for you guys, <laughs> DCD. <laughs> so you need a defensive creative defender in your defense. Let me just go back to what I just said. You need a left back that has positioning and tackling. The same thing goes to the right back. You need one central defender. He can be very good at tackling and very and have very good positioning, very very good positioning. But not the same thing to your second central defender that is going to start your games. So. The central defender, the next central defender that is going to be close to that central defender needs creativity. Why do he doesn't need creativity? I just said it. I said he needs to move the ball from the defense to the midfield from the, so that the midfielders can take the ball from the midfield to the attack. If you don't have defenders that are creative, it's going to be a problem for you. I think one of them like that is Emery Glapote, as you can see, and Eric Garcia. Obviously, being trained is going to be very good when it comes to being creative. So, as you can see, that is what you need for your defenders. You understand? Simple and short. Then we go over to the midfield. Now we go on to the midfield. Very, very important area of the game. You need two midfielders. And you're like, what? Two midfielders? Yes, you really need two midfielders. You don't really need three midfielders. It's very simple. You only just need two center midfielders, but they are advanced playmakers. Now, you look at Bernardo Silva, you look at um, Odegaard, you look at Bruno Fernandes, these are advanced playmakers. So this is what you need in your, in your, in your midfield. Obviously, sometimes you may need the only players, but the only players that focus more on attacking. They are, they are, like, they are very good in attacking. Really, really good in attacking. What you need when you're searching for players are one dribbling. Dribbling is very important. Don't sleep on dribbling. Passing to is really important too. Creativity is important and movement is important. So for your dribbling, I would suggest for you to find any player that is over 18. So when you're buying the player, it's going down to 17. If you buy a player that has 16 to 20, it's going to be a problem for you because as soon as you buy that player, he's reducing. Now, there's no more. I, I will not. I will not suggest to you or tell you that that player is going to increase from 16 to 17. There's no like from 15. Sorry, from 15 to 17 or 16 when it comes to dribbling. So you need a player that has a dribbling of 17 or 18 to 20. It's very important. The dribbling should not be lower than 18 to 20. Then, for your, then the creativity should be like 17 to 20, 16 to 20. Obviously, uh, no. 17 to 20. Sorry, you need 17 to 20. Your creativity. Then maybe your movements, 17 or 16 to 20 or something. So when you're looking for players, make sure you're looking for players that are higher than what you want to buy. That is all you that is all you, all you need in your midfield. Two midfielders, play them in the center midfield position. You don't need the defensive midfielder. No, it does it's not needed at all. Now the next is your attack line. Your attack line is very important and we have four players that you need to play in your attack. Are you ready? Let's go. This is the this is the part I need you to be very attentive. Your attack is going to need so much talking about. Now you need two strikers and two wingers. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen, 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 listen. You. When I tell you two wingers, these are the, these are the two most important places in the whole of the team. Your wingers. I'm not telling you to go and buy an inverted wing, I'm not telling you to go and buy an advanced premium car inside forward. Listen, your wingers need to be very defensive. And 
you're going to ask me why. Why I'm telling you is that so many teams use their time, make sure that they focus more on your wing than your middle. That is what I'm telling you. So your wingers need to be very defensive. That is, their positioning and their tackling should be good. I'm not saying massively good. I'm not saying they should have positioning of 18 to 19. If you have a player like that, like Soli March, there was a time Soli March is like he was like 17, and he was good, very good, very good, brilliant when it comes to defense, defense work. But what I'm telling you is that any player you're going for, in as much as you want Garnacho, Rashford, you want Messi, you want this type of players, this type of players they will play, but this it doesn't work. It doesn't work for a long time. So. The tip I'm going to tell you is that you should get your. I'm going to show you. These, these are the two players that are two players that I have. They are wingers. Alfonso Davis he plays left wing for me, and Sola can play right wing. Or yeah, there's a player that I, I got. I can't remember his name, but maybe I will show you. If Sola can play left wing. They need to be defensively good. Don't sleep on that. If you if you if you if, you're, if your wingers are not defensive, you're going to concede. To be honest, you're going to concede a lot of goals. So another thing, another thing I want to tell you. Now we are going to move to your striker. Your strikers, you need two strikers. You need two types of strikers. You need a striker that can score goals, and you need a striker that can pass to goal. That is a striker that can get deliver the ball and he can pass the ball. So Rafael Leal is who I bought. In as much, don't look, please don't look, don't look at the salary because salary is a lot of money. I had to, I had to persuade him to come because he fits the, the type of player I want. You can look at his dribbling and you can look at his passing. These are the players that are standing, waiting for attacking midfielders. That is the centre midfielders to come out to give them the ball. And when they give them the ball, they are the ones that lay or assist or even score goals. Most especially this as a chakwista because they do a chakwista role. As a chakwista you need to go back, make sure you collect the ball from the center midfielders and pass the ball. So that's what he does. Rafael Leal is a very good dribble out of the ball and make sure he passes to his center forward. Now your center forward has to be left footed. If your centre forward is right footed, it's going to be very hard for him because the ball is coming to his left foot before his right foot. And if he's to turn to the left to the right foot, it's going to take time. And you obviously you know defenders cannot wait cannot wait for that. So what he needs to do what you need to do is get a right footed player who can who can play a chakwisa role. Make sure his dribbling is good and his passing is good. Then your centre forward should be left just like Hendrik or just like Valovic or Erling Haaland. Any player that has left foot. You can even get Mbappe and Haaland. Play Mbappe as a chakwista and play Haaland as a centre forward. <sighs> that would be massively good. <laughs> So guys, this is what I'm telling you and I'm going to be showing you the information on day 3. I hope you guys are ready and I hope you guys are listening to what I'm saying because it's very important. I hope you guys are listening to what I'm saying. So day 3, let's go. Yeah guys, this is day 3 and so guys, I'm going to be I'm really, I'm really really excited to show you guys the statistics. It's very important that I show you guys because I know how you guys have been waiting for me to post a video now this is the tactics and another thing before i show the tactics i want to tell you something in case if you're playing bigger teams change your wingers change your wingers when it comes to your attacking like your wingers your left wingers and right wingers from wingers to advanced playmakers because if you play bigger teams they will want to work on your wing so make sure if you're playing smaller teams play them as wingers but if you're playing bigger teams play them as advanced playmakers it's easy it's simple and this is the tactics I hope you guys enjoy yourself and take care love you guys